be fourth graders. We're going to be doing more together again today because this can be sometimes a little tricky without some help. So just like if we were in the classroom, we would be doing more together. So today we are learning about ounces and pounds, which I know you have heard both of those right up here by Mr. Lizard. So we, when you weigh yourself on the scale, you know you have seen pounds. If I, for instance, would have like a can of pop, there would be 12 ounces in a can. So that kind of gives you an idea of what an ounce is, okay? So let's read about it right here. Pounds and ounces. The pound is the primary unit of weight in our customary system. That's the one that you hear the most often. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. Um, sometimes you might have a pop that's 16 ounces, but I think cans are 12, but those mean the same thing. One pound equals 16 ounces. Remember that. Butter and margarine are sold in one pound packages. So if you went to your fridge and you got that, that rectangle of butter and it was full, it would weigh one pound. And then within that, there are four, usually four separate sticks. Okay, and all together they weigh a pound. And they have some pictures here. So there's a box which has a pound, right? Equals one pound, which equals the four sticks, right? Now, what they want you to figure out is how much is each stick. How many, how many ounces is each stick? All right, so we've got question marks on those, okay? I've got four sticks right here, okay? And think about those question marks right here because we're going to be answering that question when we get to number two, okay? Let's start with number one. What is the weight in ounces? We're doing ounces of one box. Well, here's one box. We know that it weighs one pound, but they want to know, convert that to ounces. Well, do you remember what they said up here on top? One pound is the same as 16 ounces. So when they ask, what is the weight in ounces of one box? I can say 16 ounces because that's the same as one pound, okay? Now, they want us to break down what is the weight in ounces of one stick. Well, if I know that all of these are 16 ounces, what problem could we do to figure out how much each one was? I have 16 ounces divided by four sticks, and I can do a division problem to figure out how much each of those sticks weighs. So do 16 divided by four to figure out how many ounces are in one stick, okay? Did you do it before me? So it would be four, wouldn't it? So four ounces. Now, just like we did yesterday, they're gonna get, give us a table where we're gonna convert pounds to ounces. Pounds to ounces, okay? And we just remember that we know there's 16 ounces in one pound, okay? Let's read our problem. Kimba buys a bag of flour that weighs five pounds. Complete the table. How many ounces are equal to five pounds? So we're actually going to be figuring, this is the one that they're asking about, but we're going to do all of ours to figure out. So remember how we did it before? We did one times, we know there's 16 ounces in a pound to get our answer, okay? Same thing, we're going to go to, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, guys. Two 
times 16. Because every time I'm taking it times 16 because there's 16 ounces in a pound. Okay. Write this down with me, please. Okay. And that gives you some math to do, right? So I'm going to go over and I'm going to say, well, 2 times 16, I don't know what that one is. Therefore, I'm going to go over and I'm going to do my math on the side in my white space. Two digit times one digit. I'm gonna do all of them over here. 16 times three, 16 times four, and the one that, the one that she's asking about is 16 times five, okay? And then I'm gonna fill my answers into my table when I get them. Remember, we just go up, and over, right? We're good at those. And then when you get the magic one, the one that she's asking about is gonna be the one that you get right here or right here, okay? That's the answer that you're gonna move down to the line right here and label it, because she wants to know how much is equal to five pounds. So write that on the line, whatever answer you get for that one. All right. Let's look at number four. It says, describe how to convert pounds to ounces without using a table. What if I didn't have this handy dandy table up here, but I wanted to convert pounds to ounces? What could I do to figure that out? Well, we kind of did it up there, didn't we? We did it, we did it right here. I can just always take it, I can multiply by 16. We kind of already did that up above, didn't we guys? Multiply. If I didn't have that table, I could just easily multiply the number by 16. Okay. If you need to pause the video at any point. We're going to read number five together and I think you can do that one on your own. When Martin weighed his dog in April, the dog weighed 384 ounces. When he weighed the dog in August, first one was April, then we're in August, the dog weighed 432 ounces. How many ounces did Martin's dog gain between April and August? Okay, so I have two numbers and I need to figure out the difference to figure out how much he gained whenever I do difference, what does that mean? Difference means subtract. And whenever I subtract, I put my big number on top and I subtract to figure out how much that poor dog gained, right? Maybe he gained a lot of weight. Make sure I can see right, right off the bat here, I cannot do two take away four, okay? I need to borrow, okay? So make sure you do that. And then when you get your final answer, you will put it right here. And of course, we will not forget our label. And that is our first page of math. So if you want to pause, and then we just have one more workbook page where we're going to do parts of it together. And I will see you on the next page. And here we are on our last page for today. Today we are talking about the word ton. Have you ever heard anybody say Oh, this weighs a ton. Well, that actually is an expression that a lot of people use. But we're going to find out how much does a ton actually weigh. Maybe you already know. All right. The weight of heavy items such as cars, trucks, boats, elephants, and whales is measured in tons. One ton is equal to 2,000 pounds, okay? So one ton equals 2,000 pounds, okay? I went a little crooked there. All right, so that's important. That's one of the things we're gonna be, that number we're gonna be using today, okay? Let's look at number six. A ship weighs one, excuse me, 12,000 450 tons. In pounds, the ship weighs 
Oh boy, are you ready? 24,900,000, okay, pounds. Which measure would you use to describe the weight of the ship? Okay, would you use the first one or the second one? Okay, think about that. What would be the best way? And they're looking for the number that's the easiest to understand, okay? We don't usually hear this amount of pounds, do we? Okay, because it's just a lot. So we use tons for bigger things, remember, like cars, trucks, boats, elephants, whales. All right, so for that one, we would just need to write that, that we would use, which measure would we use? Tons, right? And then it says why. And in my book, it says the number of tons is easier to understand. So let's just put easy to understand. We're going to make it shorter, okay? Then saying that big pound number, isn't it? All right, let's look at number seven. A trailer can carry two tons of cargo. Underline that. How many pounds of cargo can it carry? So we're going to convert two tons. Okay, we want to convert that to pounds. PDS for pounds. Okay, two tons. How many pounds would that be? Well, look up here. We know that one ton is 2,000 pounds. So what if I had two tons? Okay, I would need to do 2,000 plus 2,000. I could also do, do 2,000 times 2, couldn't I? But you do it, and then you're going to take your answer and move it over. And we can abbreviate pounds, PDS, period. Okay? Let's look at the next one. One small package weighs... Four ounces. That's not very much, is it? A shipment of small packages weighs a ton, a total of one ton. How many packages are in the shipment? Okay, so we've got that small package that weighs four ounces, but then we've got a whole shipment of those that equals a ton. How many packages are in the shipment? All right, so if I know that I have four of the packages, excuse me, four ounces for one package. A shipment of small packages weighs a total of one ton. So I need to take my four, and then I know that each of those is one ton. So I'm going to, and a one ton is 2,000. So I'm going to take that 2,000. Okay, we forgot our commas up here. Times four to figure out how many packages are in the shipment. That's a two with a comma. I am so sorry. To figure out how many packages are in the shipment. Okay, label would be your word after many, which is packages. Kind of trying to walk you through this, guys, because it can be a little bit confusing, okay? I want you to do the equations on your own. All right. This is more converting, so we need to remember certain things, okay? Depending on what they're asking for. So I have three tons, and I want to figure out how many pounds that is. Okay, think about three tons, how many pounds would that be? I need to remember that there's 2,000 pounds in one ton. But I have three tons. So what will I need to do to figure that out? I need to take my 2,000 times three to figure out number nine. Okay? Let's make some boxes over here, guys, to help us, okay, so we can show our work neatly. All right, 
Let's look at number 10. Put number 10 right here so we don't get confused. All right, so it says I have seven pounds and I want to figure out how many ounces that is. Okay, well, I know there's 16 ounces in one pound, okay? But I have seven pounds, so I'm going to take 16 times seven to figure that out, okay? And eventually, guys, you might hopefully start to remember that there's 16 ounces in a pound. Okay, right now I kind of have to help a little bit more, okay? All right, now number 11 is kind of like number nine because I'm going from tons to pounds. So we're going to be using the 2,000 pounds is one ton. Now I have five tons. So for number 11, I have to do that 2,000 again times five to figure that out. Okay. And number 12 is just like number 10. I'm going from pounds to ounces again. So I'm going to use my, there's 16 ounces in one pound, but I have 12 of them. Okay, so I need to do 16 times 12. Okay, that's where you're going to have to do two digit times two digit, guys, right? So two times six is 12. Two times one is two, plus one is three. Then I have to do my zero, and then I'm going to go the other way, okay? So figure that out, and then add them up to get your answer. And your next step is one times six. I want you to do that one on your own, okay? And I'm going to say that these last two are going to be extra credit, but I want you to try to do them, okay? Because they're just like ones that we did above. This one says tons to pounds. Well, we know there's 2,000 pounds in every ton. So what am I going to do for that? Number 13, 2,000. And then I'm going to take it times my 9. You can do it, guys. Okay? And then see if you can do that last one on your own. All right. Have a super day, guys.